Hello everyone. The title of this work is Algebraic Meet in the Middle Attack on Low MC. I'm Fu Kang Liu. This is a joint work with Santanu Saka, Gao Li Wang, Willy Mir, and Takano Li Isobe. Low MC is a very famous block cipher. It was proposed at EuroCrypt 2015 and is designed to be MPC, FHE, and ZK friendly. A notable feature of low MC is that its parameters can be chosen in a flexible way, including its affine layers, the key schedule function, and the number of S boxes per round. In this work, we focus on the cryptanalysis of low MC, and the previous results can be classified into four types. And we focus on the third type where two children plan tests, where two children plan tests and a cipher test pairs can be obtained. The attacks in this setting are related to the security proof of the picnic signature scheme and we improve the attack and we improve the attack in this setting by proposing a new technique called algebraic meet in the middle attack. To understand our attack, it's necessary to first understand the difference in enumeration attack. The its general idea is very simple. First, compute the input and output difference delta 0 and delta r according to the plan test pairs and the cipher test pairs. Then at step 2, uh, pre-compute and store all possible delta i computed from delta 0. And at step 3, again we compute delta i uh, but from delta r. And for each compute delta i, find a match from the pre-computed table. Once a match is found, the trail from the the trail from delta zero to delta r is determined, and the key can be computed from the trail. So this is an illustration of the original difference enumeration attack framework. It's a simple mid in the middle attack. So according to the above uh, description, so the memory complexity is very high and exponential, and it is exponential in R one. To uh, to reduce the memory complexity, in crypto 2021, an algebraic method was proposed. So different from the previous attack, uh, for a given challenge, delta R0 plus delta R1, instead of trying to find a match from a, from a huge pre-computation table, the attacker uh, tries to solve a linear equation system to recover the difference transitions in the middle R1 runs. However, the max uh, the maximal value of R1 is limited in this attack. So there are some problems left. First, how to further reduce the memory complexity of the original difference enumeration attack. And second, how to further extend R1 by using additional memory uh, uh, by, uh, based on the attacks, based on the techniques proposed at Crypto 2021. So motivated by the two problems, we propose the algebraic mid in the middle attack. The idea is uh, very simple. So different from the previous mid in the middle strategies, instead of uh, storing many values in a table, we uh, we store some we store many linear equations in a table. And for a given challenge, we try to find a linear equation system that can be matched from the challenge that can be matched with the challenge. So in this way, it's obvious that we can reduce the memory complexity because uh, some values are, are solved, uh, some values are computed by solving a linear equation system. So this is our new attack framework. And uh, for the middle R1 rounds, there will be two phases, um, offline, phase, offline phase and online phase. At the offline phase, we pre-compute some information, and at the online phase, for each for any given challenge, delta R zero plus delta R one, we use the pre-computed information to retrieve the corresponding linear equation system to recover the difference transitions in the whole middle R one runs. With this technique, the security margins of low MC are significantly reduced. Uh, as can be seen from the last column of this table. Similarly, for the backdoor cipher low MC MV2, uh, the security margins are also significantly reduced. In summary, we propose new algebraic attacks on low MC, and the attacks are highly related to the feature of the partial nonlinear layer. At last, 
we want to mention an interesting problem. Uh, it's, uh, can we further improve the attack? For example, can we extend R2? That's all. Thank you.